So hi everyone again, and now we'll start to do the model. We start with the face. Uh, that's uh, one of the most complex things to do. It depends on your model really, but uh, I think that's 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 easier than the body, but still uh, a bit of work. So what I do first, you see, you. Probably we'll have Metascoia starting like this, right? So what I like to have is the four views. So I go here and click on this little icon with colors. And I have four views, right, front, left. Like this. And uh, the model, if you... Now next, before I talk about the model, let's go here to the modeling icons, wiki image, let's load our images, I have lots of images as you can see from past models and past stuff, since I'm going to do a girl, because I have the boys images you see, from a TDA, TDA base, and uh, the female, but you're going to do a female, so it's going to be this face here. So I'm going to load the face, and I'm going to load the face. Uh, sorry, I got it wrong. So you see, it's not here. You see front here, right? So you're going to load the front face, not the <laughs> the left. So, you have the front, like it should be, on the left, you're going to load left face. So, next step here is to import the model so you can ra r correct the faces so they don't get, uh, so they get the right size, you know, don't get bigger than they should. So you go into PMX editor, if you have English, if you have Span if you have Spanish, if you have Japanese, however, you have and import your TDM model. It must it should be a Miko depends on, on what size you want. You can have those TDA male models that are bigger than Miko sized, or you can have Miko size. See something a girl and that one's a girl size so it fits most of the motions if you want to use it on recycled motions you should have um, Miku size so I'm going to load this you see this is horrible but it doesn't matter now so export as an object and put Miku Okay, then go away. And now we have a Miku object here. Now we make a score. Yeah? We're going to insert that Miku object in here. See, it's here, but it's wrong, right? So let's see if we can correct that. Um, let's try and open it again because it's, it's what's looking to the other side maybe Maya so no it's wrong again so maybe you have to change so no let's try the fault I don't know if So it's wrong as you can see because I have front and she's looking the other way. <laughs> she shouldn't be looking the other way, no. No looking the other way. So you have to flip her. If you know what I mean. So this is going to be a
So she was looking Z. So I have to invert Z, I think. So you see, now it's right. So I had to flip Z, and there she is. So why does this matter? You see, now I'm going to pick the image again. Now I'm going to do this is some work you have to do, but you make sure it stays the same size. So when you it's going to stay small, but uh, when you load on PMX, it's going to be when you then scale it up, it's going to be on the right size. Unless someone has better way to do this, I appreciate it. But for now, so we do. If you want to see the face behind it, go like this, click here, and until it there, and. And go here and see how it is. Not yet. Go here and see how it is. It doesn't have to be a hundred percent correct, but it should be more or less. So you see maybe a bigger head. I think this is right. I think this is correct. Let's see. Let's take it here. Okay, now for this little side. Then you delete Miko and the materials. Don't forget to delete all these materials because you don't need it. Create a new one. Okay. Maybe delete this object and do a new one just in case. So now we have the face in the right place. Um, don't forget to save us. I don't know the name of this character, so I'm going to call it here. I hope. The person is not seeing this. Uh, I call it deer because she looks like a deer, but <laughs> you call it the name of the model of the character. So now what you're gonna do is, we, as I remind you, this video will be cut in part. Sometimes you can stop a bit abruptly, so. Um, but I put it on parts and I put it on a playlist so you can see it better. Don't forget to go to the playlist, it's easier to follow it th that way if you're going to do the model from beginning to end. So the model I'm going to do is on pictures, you can put it anywhere, anywhere you want. I'm going to do, I'm using Miko as a base, but I'm going to do this card here. It's a bit different from from human characters, but it can be done. So she'll have a bit different nose than normal, but I'll explain to you how you do a normal nose if I can. Uh, she has ears around here and hair, but uh, she has nail nails. So let's see, I'm following a speed modeling video, so we go in here on create, create front, a square, go to the eyes, you 
You should uh, have a drawing of your character instead of Miko. But if you <laughs> don't want to draw like me and you do just want to do it like this, you can. So do it like this, like I'm doing. I forget to have a square selected. So that's just where you do it. Then you have to give it these adjustments. It doesn't have to be like this. Uh, the squares. Um, you you will have you can adjust them later to fit the eye. You see, it needs to be adjusted. Maybe here some. This, make sure the square is more or less in the middle. Okay, now you're gonna pick, uh, where is it? Knife, see knife here. And do this. Do this. Okay, not the best, do this maybe. Start again, maybe we're gonna do in the middle. Like this. Wanna be perfect. That doesn't need to be perfect, but I want it to be perfect. Now, let's like this. F to see what you're selecting, you can go to points there and select like this. I did, I clicked there. So, and. Okay, so I select it there and go like this, 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 this. And now I did it. This, see? Maybe like this. And starting to shape an eye, see there? A nice starting shape. Um. So now more cuts, but this time make sure you make sure you delete too. this because you don't need it. Cut knife there. Cut with knife there. Cut with knife there. And cut with knife there. There. Now I'm checking the tutorial. So now it depends on the eye. Let's see, let's take a look at her eyes. So yeah, the, her eyes are pretty round. So you're gonna you're gonna do round eyes. Then if you wanna move one, you can do it like this. Show you do the shape. So you see, you're getting a round shape. More or less. Doesn't matter. something more or less so you're not creating the eye you will to create the eye socket more or less um, so now you're gonna do this you hold shift to select What's missing in case you miss something? Her eyes are not like Miko's eyes, if you notice that. Her eyes are more ladylike, not that cute. So. Yeah. 
here. So I'm not following what I see behind me, you see. I'm, I'm going for more like you like this. You can use rope here to select a selection of your choice. Just hold it and push. And here on object, make sure you do uh, no mirror separated. So you see a face already, even though you're not seeing a face. To see more or less of what you want. Now look on the side. You see? You see this is not connecting like it should connect more or less. So you you want you see the eye you can see a bit of the eye, right? So you're gonna turn the bit. Mm. 